Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome into Adopted Dog Brewery for the NCAA softball selection show party. I'm Jamarcus Fitzpatrick. <laughs> and I'm Megan Glover. <laughs> Megan, there's so much excitement going on right now. UL just wrapped up their regular season. They lost in the Sun Belt Championship game to Texas State, but they finished with a 42 and 17 overall record. Absolutely, but the Cajuns did what they needed to do during the regular season. They still hold the longest active streak for conference uh, series wins, 89 in the country, and also during the regular season. Crown regular season champs again for the fifth consecutive year, their 20th overall in the program. Absolutely, and after speaking with head coach Jerry Glasgow right before the conference tournament started, I asked him how he felt about their resume and if they would do enough to be able to host a regional and he simply said that his team is good enough to be one of the best 16 in the country. I'll say this as a head coach at Louisiana I feel extremely confident that with the strength of the Sun Belt Conference uh, RPI this year I feel extremely confident that even if we lost game one we would host a regional. Uh, I do think it would affect our seeding and I think that we're in a position that we go over and can and get to the semifinal, uh, the final game. I think we need to get to the final game. And if we can win the final game, I don't think we'll be a 15 or 16. I think we'll be as high as 12 to 14. I feel really good. Our resume is phenomenal uh, right now. And we, we, we're in great, we're in phenomenal shape. And I feel really confident we will host a regional. And so, like Glasgow said, he truly believes that his team has done enough. I mean, they have staple wins from the likes of Baylor, uh, LSU, and even Oklahoma when they were the number one team in the country. Absolutely. Now, according to D1 Softball, despite the Cajuns losing in the Sun Belt Championship game yesterday to Texas State, they still have the Cajuns hosting as a 14 seed right here at Lampson Park, or across the way at Lampson Park, rather. They would be hosting Baylor, Ole Miss, and Albany. Again, that would be a pretty, pretty big thing for the Cajuns. It would Absolutely. be their first one in eight years. Absolutely. The first time since 2016 mm -hmm. that UL would be hosting a regional. So it's just a few minutes away. You can catch the selection show on ESPN2 at 6 p.m. But for now, signing out for Megan Glover, I'm Jamarcus Fitzpatrick. We'll be right back after this.